by Sarah Brandis with Awakened Body, and this is your step-by-step -step support video for drinking your first glass of water each morning during your 40-day seasonal cleanse. So at Awakened Body, we take on at least one seasonal cleanse a year for two reasons. First, cleansing is the very best way to relocate the body in its proper place in nature. You know, we're meant to live in balance with the ebbs and flows of the natural world, guided by an internal wisdom that is meant to keep us feeling vital and healthy. But for many of us in the modern world, we've lost our way with that. There's too many confusing inputs that come in in the form of, you know, artificial sweeteners and chemical additives, and we've lost that internal uh, guidepost. And so we cleanse to remember. Second, taking on a 40-day cleansing journey is the best way to deepen your spiritual practice year-round. Commit for these 40 days to meeting as many moments in your life from a place of open presence. Life is giving, you're receiving. So we're going to do that now with a glass of water. So on a certain level, when we cleanse, we relate to all food as medicine. But no more, no food more so than with water. You have in your support manual for your 40-day cleanse some images from the scientist, the researcher, Masura Emoto. His work is featured in the movie What the Bleep Do We Know? So you might know it from there. And he um, is a researcher who has done some fascinating work on water demonstrating through uh, the taking of photographs uh, his belief, his sense that our intentions actually change the molecular structure of water. So whether or not you believe that's true on a rational level, I encourage you during the cleanse to check out his work because the photographs themselves are beautiful. And what he shows is that by directing my intention to water, I can actually change the shape of the water itself. And I can almost turn the water into um, whatever boost I need for my day. So I want us to begin this practice. We begin uh, the first time we ingest anything during the 40 days of our seasonal cleanse. Let's begin with a little body scan, more, you know, cursory than the one that we do when dropping into actual spiritual practice, but just sort of taking an internal temperature, enough so that I can determine, what do I need right now? If I could give myself a boost of any intention, what would it be right now? So I think for me right now, you know, I, um, yesterday was just really overwhelmed by the, the overflow of love that, that came to me from all kinds of sources yesterday. So right now, in this particular moment, I am going to um, give myself the, a boost of just receiving and integrating. So as I hold my water in my hands, I can take a deep breath in. And I can direct my exhale into the water, charging it up with this intention that I've chosen, which is receiving. Yours might be balance. It might be equanimity. It might be surrender. It might be uh, courage. Whatever it is you need. So take a minute. Take a deep breath in. And... Imagine as though the exhale is coming actually out your fingertips, just charging up the water with your intention. So some people are surprised that in the Jewish wisdom tradition, when we have so many blessings for so many different particular slices of life, some people are surprised that we don't have a, a specific blessing for water. After all, water is the key to life on planet Earth. And over the course of our journey in this human body, um, our body at maximum is, you know, upwards of 70% water and 
Um, if we live into old age, it's at least 50% water. Um, and so some people are surprised that water doesn't get its own blessing, but it doesn't. But for me, when I say the blessing that's appropriate for water, I really, um, I get it most. I get this blessing most when I'm saying it over water. So this blessing is actually, it's the catch-all blessing. It's the one that we can say um, over any item of food that we don't know that food's story, aka processed foods, we could say this blessing. But it's the blessing that comes over water. And for me, saying it over water is what really brings this blessing to life. So you have it um, written out for you in transliteration in your support packet. Um, but it sounds like this in Hebrew. It's Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, shakol nihye bidvaro. And what that means is, blessed are you, source, creator of the universe, who has caused everything to come to be according to your davar. Davar literally means word, but for here, we're going to take it as your intention. God sets intention, and the word world bursts forth. And so too with me. I, as a microcosm of the creator, as a being created in the divine image, but Salam Elohim, I too have the ability to set intention and to cause the world to come to be uh, in certain ways in alignment with my intention. My intentions can prime up manifest reality. So that's what I'm going to do with this glass of water. So let's just drop back in because when you're actually doing this, you're going to do it fluidly without any pause for explanation. I hold the water. I feel it in my hands. Best for this is room temperature, flat water. Um, uh, differing views about tap water versus uh, purified or distilled filtered water. Um, I'll leave that to you to research on the clean website what feels right for you. Um, I myself I don't shy away from tap water because uh, some of that grittiness is a part of how I drop back in to, to that earth energy when I'm cleansing. On the other hand, uh, certain municipalities, water can have lots of additives and you might want to be using purified or filtered water. So I inhale, I exhale out my intention. I inhale, I say the invocation, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shakol Nihye Bidvaro. Of course, you give yourself as long as you need to drink. You can take it as a mindful eating exercise, just feeling the temperature of the water, Having awareness about how far down you can feel it as it's entering the body. And acknowledging that you have charged up this glass of water with uh, whatever it is you need today. And may you receive it. May it be amplified for you. Blessings on your way. Mm -hmm.